Hello my loves, I have missed you guys so much. I want to first start off by saying thank you guys a lot for sticking by me and still holding me down through these last two months, I want to say. It hasn't been two months since I've uploaded a video, but it has been a busy two months on where I really haven't been uploading too many videos. April was really just hammered for me. I, I'm going to give you guys a run around, not a run around, but the update. And pretty much, I had started a new job. I'm sure some of you have known that since I said that, I believe, in another video. So I started a new job. I currently work for a certain makeup company and I actually work for two now. Yes, so my job is pretty much to travel back and forth in the Philadelphia region. And that has taken a lot of time up for me because even on my days off, I'm either emailing, I'm scheduling, I'm just all over the place. And I also freelance for myself. So I do do makeup not only for makeup companies but as well as for myself because i am a makeup artist and right now this is the beginning of the rough season every year as a makeup artist or if you guys are makeup artists you guys know that right now this is a busy 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 time because we have bright brides we have weddings we have special occasions we have prom prom just hit and since i am a traveling artist i am just all over the place so it's really hard to keep up with making videos because since I do travel a lot on my days off, I tend to just relax and stay home because I don't know if you guys really know, some may or may not know, but I am a mommy and I need to be here for my daughter and this year is her last year of being home with me. So when I'm home, I like to soak up each and every last minute I can with her because she will be going to school full time soon and that is just breaking my heart it's breaking my heart but i mean that's life right hot up in this beach okay so really quick i wanted to share with you guys some of my april favorites fur works i wanted to share with you guys some of the products that i've been absolutely loving lately and it's not a lot this should be this should be short and simple and quick but the way I talk, we'll see. So, the first non kind of like makeup item I want to talk about is this Elizabeth and James Nirvana fragrance in white. I do have the black one, and I have both of them, and they're both in rollerballs. I have no idea where the black one is, so if you guys find it, let me know. <laughs> it's like it's somewhere around here, but I just don't know where it's at. It just smells really, really nice. It's really refreshing as well. I'm gonna put some on because I actually have to go to work now um, but yeah it's really really nice it's really refreshing I do like to mix the black one and the white one together uh, the white one kind of has a smell of like a slight smell of patchouli if you like that scent but if you're not a fan of patchouli then you're not really gonna like this I don't even know if it has patchouli in it but I know it kind of gives off that scent at least on me it does but it's just nice, light, and refreshing. You don't need a lot because these fragrances are really, really, really potent. And you can overdo it instantly. You just need a little bit. Like, even a little bit that I rolled on myself right now and you guys saw me do it, that's actually a lot. And I'll probably smell like this until I take a shower later on at around, like, 11 o'clock at night. And it's, like, 10 in the morning. Uh, so, yeah, don't use a lot of that. The next item is my Makeup Forever Scentsy Sense Eyes or Scentsy Eyes. It is a waterproof sensitive eye cleanser and I have the little baby size. Makeup Forever sells this in a larger size like this which is technically their travel size and then they have a full size which is like an ounce or something like that. This makeup remover is amazing and not because of it removing makeup on my face. To be honest, I haven't used it on my face, but what I really enjoy this, believe it or not, guys, is actually removing makeup from my clothes. I wear a lot of black, 
I mean, that's just me in general. But as a makeup artist, I do wear a lot of black just to prevent any, like, stinging because... Whew, guys, you guys know that makeup just gets everywhere somehow, no matter how careful you are. You end up walking around with like red lipstick on like your shoulder blades somehow. So what I'd like to do is just take a little bit of this, place it onto a cloth or whatever cloth I have. Let it sit there for a little bit and then remove it with a cotton ball. Just let it sit for a little bit and then take like a cotton round, a cotton ball, or a makeup sponge, like those wedges, those cheapy wedges that cosmetic companies sell. And then you just rub it in to the product and into the cloth and it'll actually remove itself, guys. It is so amazing. I remember being taught this trick about two years ago and I was like, seriously, that works? And when I tried it, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Now, to be honest, I haven't tried this on white clothes or anything white, so I don't know how that's going to work. I'm going to test it out on like a crappy shirt, and then I'll let you guys know. Um, until then, please don't use this on white, because I'm not sure since it's blue if it'll stain or if it'll just smear out any makeup, so I'll give you guys a heads up later on. Love, baby. Okay. Next up is this little sample size of my Hourglass number 28 Primer Serum. Now, this is a little baby size. Again, this is the, this used to come in a duo pack back in the day about two years ago. I don't know if they have that anymore at Sephora's. Um, they do have bigger size of a travel one and then they also have a full size one. And the full size one is $65. And oh my God, I know you guys are like, what? Who is paying that much for a primer serum? I'm not. Not me. Uh-uh. But let me tell you. I'm probably going to do like a full on review of this serum. But it is amazing, guys. To t Like seriously. Like it is just absolutely amazing. And before I had this for so long. And I was like, Ugh, I'm not using that. It's so oily. It's so disgusting. It's nothing what I thought initially. If you guys are in your local Sephora and you're super dehydrated, you need anti-aging, you need wrinkle filling, you need just a primer, you need to hydrate your skin, you need a serum, you need something new for under the eye area to hydrate. Go to your local Sephora and try a little sample of this or purchase the little travel size one. I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed whatsoever. It is seriously... I end up using it just as my moisturizer. I don't use it as my primer. You can, but I personally just use it as my moisturizer slash serum slash treatment. And it is amazing, guys. You guys don't understand. Like, I had super dry patches, like, right in this area of my eyes. And I started applying this. Oh, my God. Overnight, my face was just, like, boom, hydrated. Amazing. And it looks super young. I'm telling you guys, it is awesome. These are the lashes I've been using a lot. And this is the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in number 11. Which looks like this. And they pretty much remind me of the Demi Wispies. Demi Wispies or Wispies from Ardell. But these are sold at Walmart. And you get five pair. And these were actually only $8. Which is awesome because... I think the Wispies, a single pair is like, what, $4? Like, something like that. Like, pushing, like, I don't know, a newborn baby. But it's ridiculous. So, to get five lashes for $8, I was like, damn, that's amazing. And I do love Kiss Lashes. I'm sure if you guys have watched my other videos and tutorials, I have used Kiss Lashes. And I've also done a slight review on, like, Influencer from when they sent me a pair. So, uh, yeah, number 11, these are amazing. Go get yourself some. But leave a box for me so that I can purchase them again, okay? And for mascara, I meant to, I meant to talk about this last month, but I forgot. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and oh my god, guys. I don't know where I have been with my life. Oh, uh, this mascara is absolutely awesome. Oh, my hair's gonna flat. It's so awesome. I seriously, 
I can't. Uh, the only thing is that I do find that every now and then it still smudges on the bottom lash line. I don't know if that's just me, if that's you guys, I don't know. I always have that issue no matter what mascara I use. But um, it's amazing for just your top lashes and the brush is amazing. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard all this. But the brush is absolutely amazing. It looks like this. It has all of these nice spiral barrels in it. And like the brushes, they actually like crisscross together like this so that they have the max, they give the maximum grip to your lashes to really pull them from the base and then pull them out. Oh my gosh. And it's very, very, very like fattening to your lashes. It's collagen boosting. It is awesome. And... I just, I can't. I just, I can't. It makes my lashes look really nice. And I have crappy lashes, guys. That's why I always wear fake lashes. But I can actually get away with a few coats of this mascara by itself. It makes my lashes look long, fat, black, just like I like it. From MAC is amazing and it is the cream stick liner in the shade cremola and it is actually what i have inside my waterline now if you guys care but what i really like about this eyeliner i don't even know if this is eyeliner but i've been putting it in my eyes um what i really like about this eyeliner is that it adds a nice pop and a nice finish to the eyes without either being too black on you know because Usually we use black to like smoke it out. And I sometimes don't want an extreme smoky look. But um, this is a swatch right here. Look, it is just so pretty. It has like that nice reddish brown hint to it that I have yet to find another eyeliner like that. Um, and I've just been really enjoying that for my waterline to really just put my whole makeup look together. Because like I said, there's some days I'm not in the mood to wear black. And I don't want to wear nude to make my eyes even more open. I kind of want it to look the way it is. But, yeah, I've been having trouble finding certain eyeliners to, you know, really finish off the waterline. Especially because some can be either too gray. There's glitter. There's this. There's that. There's colors. I'm not in the mood for that. So, I really, really enjoy that. I don't know, um... If you even can get this anymore, guys, I'm sorry. I had actually gotten this at a local CCO, and I, I I don't know. I don't know if they have this in store anymore because if I remember correctly, um, Rachel, which is Love Blend and Beauty, she was saying, I think if I remember correctly, she just op uploaded, uploaded a MAC haul. And she was talking about this eyeliner. And if I can remember correctly, she said it was discontinued. So, yeah. I mean, she did end up talking about other colors that kind of reminded her of this. So, if you guys want to check back on her video, go ahead and do that. I'll leave a link down to her channel down below. Um, yeah, she'll give you some recommendations because she does work for MAC. I don't. The NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer Face Powder and sunny and this is a drugstore item this is like a cult classic however <laughs> yours truly is always not always but sometimes she can be a little bit late with drugstore items and i had purchased this a long 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 time ago and i have used it every now and then but this i've really been reaching for because i've been really into light bronzing lately I know, right? So weird because I'm not into like that whole tan skin and I'm just not into that. I don't self tan. I don't like to sit outside and sunbathe and sun tan and lay in tan bath. That is not me. I just, I actually prefer to have fairer skin. I know to some people that's like, ooh, what is wrong with you? But I don't know. That's just me. But I've really been enjoying the subtle bronze kiss look that it does give my skin. I actually have it on today. And it doesn't look too heavy or anything like that. It does show up orangey on me. However, if I use a light hand with it, it gives the proper bronzing effect that it's supposed to give. As opposed to that, that real super orangey look that it can give. I've, I've heard people say, no, it's not orangey at all. Lies, they lie. Maybe not on them, but it is definitely a orangey based yeah look at this 
it is definitely an rng warm based bronzer that is not cool tone whatsoever and to me i don't feel eh, it could be a little neutral but to me it shows up very warm i'm pretty sure it's probably because it oxidizes with whatever products i put on my face but it does show up rng guys so just be aware of that just have a nice light hand the becca opal shimmering skin protector what lies that is not what it's called shimmery skin perfector pressed opal by becca and yes i have mine in my box still yes my box is disgusting but i keep it inside the box for a reason i am terrified of having this baby break on me um it was very expensive and it doesn't help that the packaging and everything like that is just so flimsy and it just seems like the product would just crumble instantly and it doesn't help that as soon as you apply a brush to it it crumbles right away so a matte i i don't i don't even want to imagine it but you guys know what i you know you guys get the gist of what i'm trying to say but i'm sure you guys have all heard of this i actually have it on my cheekbones today but it just gives the skin a nice beautiful pearlized glow and it looks really 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 beautiful especially now that we all want that glow oh it is like so pretty guys i don't know if i mentioned this before but i'm going to mention it again but it is just really really pretty and i've actually been obsessing with it for like the past week or so i mean if you really want to look like not a grease ball but you want to look like damn i have to hurry this up because my camera is like Ooh, hurry up um i really haven't been using too many product lip products recently again i've been using like the same products i use um still the icon lip liner by hourglass i use the child lip gloss by hourglass still and i also been obsessing over the raven lip liner from hourglass and i think i mentioned this before but i just want to give this little baby a shout out again it's just like that really pretty red orange that everyone is really enjoying right now and i really enjoy these lip liners because they are waterproof and they last forever on the lips and i don't experience bleeding with it next up is this high pigment lip pencil by bite beauty and this is in the color corvina and oh hello and this color is just so pretty it is that nice beautiful bright coral shade and i feel like this would complement a lot of skin tones i've worn it a couple times this past month and every time i've worn it people are like oh my god your lips are like what and i have to tell everyone where it's from because you can totally tell that they're obsessed but they don't want to ask where it's from so i'm like it's da 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 but <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i had to like let him know but yeah that is it right there i just ugh, love this color and last but not least this is the dior gloss i'm sorry i don't know if they have this anymore i am currently wearing it on my lips and this is the dior addict ultra gloss glow in the shade there's no name but the number is four five two yes 452 and it's just a nice gloss to give your lips like that nice full effect like this and it's just nice for layering it and it really makes your lips pop because you know how some glosses like they say they're glossy but then they're like really awful but um i find that this gloss is actually like really 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 glossy and i'm sorry that i'm touching my hair i'm getting like really hot actually so anyways that pretty much sums up my april favorites guys i again want to apologize for the lack of videos i feel like i've been seeing that a lot lately and i'm sorry but it's just what can i do you know mama said i bring home the bacon but uh yeah i will be back with more makeup tutorials i still am going to finish my tarte uh palette series which i have been coming up with the past like three days or so coming up with different looks incorporating that palette i mean there's tons of looks i can do but i really want to do looks that everyone's going to wear not what i want to wear 
But uh, yeah, I'm still going to do that. I also have a bunch of like shimmering kind of looks coming up because not everyone likes matte eyeshadows. And now that spring and summer is definitely here, we want to look extra glowy. And not even, who doesn't just love a little bit of sparkle and some shimmer shimmer? I know I do, especially lately, which is weird. I don't know, guys. I've been going through like this weird phase of like just shimmer gloss and just looking extra like poof out there and uh yeah i want to share with you guys because i've been getting a lot of compliments so when i feel like i'm getting a lot of compliments i need to like sit here and film it so my girls can be snatched up and ready to go as well anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i shall talk to you all later bye guys